how to use the Blackmagic Design ATEM Television Studio HD as a switcher between a camera output and a computer output then project it onto the big screen. ATEM Television Studio HD Connecting the power cable Turn it on Connect a HDMI cable to input number 1 The other end of the HDMI cable goes to the HDMI output behind the camera Connect one end of a short SDI cable to the SDI to the first SDI output The other end of the short SDI cable goes into the SDI input of the Blackmagic SDI to HDMI micro converter. The converter is powered by USB via a micro USB port. Connect the other end of the USB cable to a regular USB wall charger. Plug the USB power into the power socket and turn it on. We should be able to see a power indicator light on here. Connect a long 20 meter HDMI cable to the HDMI output of the Blackmagic Design SDI to HDMI converter. The other end of the long HDMI cable goes into the HDMI input of the projection screen. On the projection screen, select the source. Power on the camera. I should be able to see the image on the projection screen. As well as on the ATEM Television Studio HD. So the camera is only the first input source. Now let's connect the second input source. The second input source will be from a laptop. For the second input source, I'll be using an SDI cable connected to the first SDI input of the HDMI of the ATEM Television Studio, which is number five. I'm using the long SDI cable for two reasons, because it's coming into this device, and I'll be stretching it at a distance of about. 30 meters and I'll be using this the second reason is I'll be using this device as a splitter to split between the HDMI and the SDI output so the long SDI cable goes into the SDI output of the data video deck 70 which is a device to convert HDMI signal or VGA signal from a computer to either a HDMI or SDI output. The data video DAC70 requires a 12 volt DC input. Power up the DAC70. Right now, the input source of the DEC70 is HDMI, which is set using the dip switches here. Based on the codes given at the back. On the other side of the DEC70, I will connect a HDMI cable to the HDMI input. And now, for the other side of the HDMI cable, we connect the other side of the HDMI cable into the HDMI output of the laptop. On the ATEM, the laptop input is in input number 5. Oops, it's blinking. Something is not right. Let's try changing the HDMI cable to another one. 
on the laptop side let's connect the new one yes it's working now as you can see from the projection monitor so now the ATEM television studio HD has become a switcher between two input sources a camera and a computer oops wrong one number five computer camera computer one more thing to note under the settings I have put the video format to 1080i50 which means my camera has to be set to 1080-50i as well as the output setting coming from the data video DAC70. This will be the setup I'll be using over the weekend for a seminar event. Wish me good luck. Feel free to drop me a comment or question and don't forget to subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from videolink.com. See you in the next one.